And let me also ask you then about uh, Love Actually. Um, I, Love Actually is one of those films that um, I feel ashamed of loving, actually. Um, I know <laughs> I know it's a complete schmaltzy, schlockfest. I mean, it's just, I, I'm, a, I'm, mo I'm mortified. But there are some days when, you know, it's raining, it's miserable, you've got a bit of a cold, feeling a bit, oh, feeling a bit maybe, a, maybe a hangover, could happen. Um, and you think, do you know what, Sunday afternoon... Surely not, do you? I mean, surely you? not. No. Uh, Sunday afternoon, oh, I'll put love action on. My husband will walk in the room and go, good grief, and walk straight out again, I've got to be honest. But there are some wonderful scenes in it, some great actors in it. It is very schmaltzy, but it's quite enjoyable as a rom-com for that reason. But the director of uh, Love Actually, um, uh, he's, it's a 2003 film, so almost 20 years on, but there's a big sort of whole 20 years on from Love Actually uh, that's being made, it's been for the US TV channel ABC, uh, not yet a date for it to be broadcast here in the UK. But he says he feels a bit stupid, in his words, about parts of the rom-com, including its lack of diversity. He says uh, elements of the movie are now bound to feel out of date. Uh, part of the issue, he says, is the number of the star, the couples. I think there are eight couples. Is three of the couples actually involved in work relationships, and the guy is often is, is in each case senior to the woman. Uh, but but also, uh, he feels that there was a lack of people of different ethnicities, presumably genders, sex. I don't know, whatever. Um, I mean, what what is this hand wringing white rich middle class thing about a film being made in two thousand and three that he claims isn't diverse enough? There are actually a number of of black characters in this film. Why, why would there need to be any more for it to be acceptable now? Um, I wouldn't talk about it being quote unquote acceptable. I happened to watch, because I've got a six year old son, I happened to watch James and the Giant Peach um, uh, in the in the cinema, which was made in the, I think 70s or mm -hmm. maybe early 80s. Oh, it looks it looks horrible. It looks, I mean, and, and I loved it as, Why did as it a look child. horrible? Um, because it just doesn't reflect my son's Sorry, no, so is it white? Has, yeah, it's very, very, very... It's very white. OK, right. right. So right. the vast so majority of people in this country is written by a white person in a very, very white country yeah. at a very time where they could... Why, why would that bother you? No, if so I watch a film so or a TV show with a load of black people in, it doesn't bother me. Why would that bother you? Ju Ju Julia, it, OK, if you let me finish, it doesn't bother me. I took my son to it. Right? No, but you said it... incredibly you, dated. It looks incredibly dated. All right. Well, I, it I, is I, dated. I, it's an old my, film. I, I just, yes, I know. I know. I know. I'm not arguing with you, Julia. I'm not arguing with you. All right. I'm just saying, I use that as an example just to say how films date, how society moves on, the demographics of society moves on. So films date. If well, you, you look at love, But you say they date. This is about I don't understand. Even then, there were a number of characters. I, if you look at the, the population of, say, Afro-Caribbean people or uh, people of African heritage in this country, so black people in this country, it's 3%. I think that more than 3% of the main characters in that film are actually uh, are, are, are black, in which case it's, it's over-representative, you could say. Why, why, I mean, we had this issue of this, the sitcom Friends, one of the biggest comedy ser sitcom series in, in, in the world, because um, it was all it was all white people. I mean, there were two Jewish uh, brother and sister who are Jewish. Apparently, they don't count. Apparently, but but it's that bizarre thing. Why why do you have to have someone who is of any particular ethnicity or heritage or I don't know or sexuality or anything? Why is it necessary? The vast majority of people in this country, and certainly the vast majority of people who are middle class, which is what that film is about, a whole bunch of middle class people, are white. Okay, so I, I, I was not coming on, and I, I was uh, a bit more relaxed when I came on. But I can see you're, you're, that you're ramping up a little bit. So let me properly I'm address the question. I know. So, so so let me properly address your concerns. All right. So I think the the bigger issue is not about an individual film. The bigger issue is that if you look at how many disabled people work in the film and television industry. It's less than one percent. If you look at what with the narratives, you're absolutely right. Vast, the vast majority of characters in Love Actually is, is middle class. The vast majority of films are about middle class and people of a higher socioeconomic standing. And it's no coincidence that the vast majority of people who are making films are of a higher socioeconomic yeah. standing. And so, what you have more generally, so it's not just about one film. What you have more generally about the films which are being produced is that the films are being made by a very small strata of society, mm -hmm. predominantly men, predominantly white, and predominantly heterosexual, and predominantly, overwhelmingly not disabled. 
I, I could have said you're talking so about looked, business, same as modeling, anywhere, anything in the in the entertainment industry, same with pop stars as well. As a general rule, they're not short, fat and ugly. That's the reality. No, I'm talking in, about the people making it. No, 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 but either, either way, no, but either way, but that's the thing. We're, we're, you're in you're in like the you're in the sort of the, the beautiful people's world and the perfect people's world, a lot of it often very fake. And sadly that will mean that us, you know, us average Joes, or, or sadly, you know, disabled people won't be making it in this, won't be making, getting ahead as, as, as well as well. And also, that the majority of people who are involved in this industry are well to do. They, they, they're not. They, they've actually got the money to be involved in an industry which basically pays nothing in the early, early years. While most people can't afford to do that, that'll be the white middle classes as well. There are social economic reasons for this, but. What I, don't, what I find difficult is this idea that everything we do has to be representative of every single no, thing in the society. Not, Why? Okay, not necessarily. So if you look at film schools, over 50% of people graduating from film schools are women. If you look at the number of films which are then directed by women, right? so they have spent the money and they've got mm -hmm. the socioeconomic means to actually go to film school and graduate from film school. Right? If you actually look at the number of women who direct a film, they're it is not 50%, it's something closer to 25%. And that's their first films. They're also given smaller budgets. Right? And the chance of them after doing their first All film, right. because they're given smaller budgets, is actually less. And so it then means that you have over... So it's not about just socioeconomic and the pretty people. There are clearly issues as to why women but are not being... Do these off. things change? Then, I mean, then, look, 20 years and, ago, and they so would have... Let me, just, let me just finish one second. Okay. And then what happens is that the majority of films which are made are made from a male perspective. Yeah. You have the kind of what you're talking about in Love Actually is that you have um, men being um, uh, the bosses. It's really problematic with regards to the office relationships. Well, it's, it's not because really she was at the, the secretary is a complete slut and is basically uh, going after him. He doesn't do anything wrong at all, uh, uh, as far as I can tell. But no, but the nice thing is, isn't this? We know that these things uh, are there. There are this, these differences, but that part of those are just social, long-term social demographic changes, and they will take a time. There's a reason why not. You know, half of judges aren't women yet. It's because people coming through the echelons, and this will change over time. I just, I just find the self-flagellation. Uh, uh, I just find it very, very, very tedious when we can see that clearly there are these changes going on. Marcus, the, the, I can keep no, I can keep you on air forever, but I've got two more topics to get to before I top of the hour. So